Good morning friends today i am going to explain you how to measure frequency and amplitude of a given signal using a digital storage oscilloscope that is also known as dso so let's see first switch on the dso from a given button now it is switching on it will take some 5 to 10 seconds to switch on see switch on first the by default language is english selected here so it will continue accordingly or otherwise we can press any button to continue so now you can see a default window of dso that is given here coupling is ac bandwidth limit is given voltage per division is also given now we have to measure a uh, given input signal using a dso so first of all we need to connect the input signal input signal can be connected with channel 1 you can see or channel 2 so first i am taking a bnc connector which is which has given an input signal that is sinusoidal wave and now we will connect it to a channel 1 bnc connector is basically a bayonet nail concealment connector this is used to take input and connect it to a channel 1 or channel 2 we can connect it anywhere so as soon as we have connected we can see a sinusoidal signal is coming if there is no signal is coming we can just press auto set also which is given here auto set button so if you press it then it will automatically detect the channel signal that is channel 1 or channel 2 whichever channel is connected it will take it and convert it into a visible signal form according to their default view so now i want to check the amplitude of this signal so by default also we can check that here given is peak to peak voltage is 4.36 volt 32 volt so and the frequency is 3.4 to 5 kilohertz so to measure that we have to stop because the frequency is continuously changing so we should stop first press the button stop then we can see the static data is coming that is peak to peak voltage is 4.36 volt and frequency is 3.412 kilohertz now this is automatically set now you want to check manually whether the signal is of same frequency and same amplitude or not so we have to check click the button measure measure is given here now we have click on measure and since channel probe is connected on channel 1 so we press channel 1 so on channel 1 we can see the probe means is 1x 1x means whatever signal is coming that is not amplified that is of same magnitude if we can if we increase it we can convert it into 10x 100x or 1000x so let's keep it to 1x only now we have to measure for measurement we have to press a cursor below measurement is cursor button is there we just press cursor if you press cursor it will show here type of cursor you want so suppose i'll press in front of that type button that is voltage so if you press voltage if you select voltage a two cursor we can see is coming if you want to check the voltage move the cursor to a peak top one and then lower one to the top lowest part so we can check the cursor position cursor one that is this one cursor 2 is this one so the voltage is given and if you want to take the delta it, it means the difference between the two cursor voltage is 4.2 vo 20 volt that is a uh, peak to peak voltage observed using this cursor now we want to check the time division of frequency of this cursor so we just press type button so it will come time so cursor will automatically in a vertical position now we want to check peak to peak frequency of the signal so first move the cursor one to a suppose i am taking the peak to a reference vertical position at zero level now move the cursor to that position now second cursor to this position this will give a complete one cycle 
now one cycle you can see the difference of cursor 1 and cursor 2 in microsecond this is time domain so differences of cursor 1 cursor 2 and difference is given in form of delta so frequency is coming is 3.378 kilohertz Okay, I'll tell you. 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 I'll tell